today's November film was another Japanese one. This is Kuro Yoshi Kuhara's, Kurohara's Intimidation from 1960. And I actually watched a film by Kurohara uh, two years ago called I Am Waiting, and it was one of my favorite noirs I saw that year. So um, I'm glad I got finally caught up with his next um, for, foray into crime. There are several more of his films on Filmstruck that I need to try to watch uh, before they go away. But they're all, um, quite a few of them are on uh, DVD via the Eclipse series from Criterion, although I think it may be out of print. So uh, this might be your only chance to watch them. This is a very taut, short, and sweet film. Not sweet as in tone, but it's just, it hits the sweet spot. It's just perfectly um, articulated. It's from uh, 1960, and it is an hour and five minutes long, and that's it. And it has these just amazing uh, set piece, action set pieces that are thrilling and, and amazing. Um, it begins with a man getting off a train and going to a bank and harassing the um, custodian because he wants to know where the assistant manager is. He is going to find the assistant manager and blackmail him based on their shared criminal past to steal three million, I think three million yen, but three million monetary units um, from his own bank. He's about to be promoted, but this man's going to screw up his entire life. So he's like, you can screw up your life by stealing this money from me or you can screw up your life by me telling about your past. Either way, your life is screwed up. And so he's going to go try to steal this money. Meanwhile, his assistant, um, who is a lowly, you know, common man who's only, um, you know, has, didn't go to university like, like his manager. He's only gone through jun junior high, but somehow he's working in this bank. Um, his sister, who works in the geisha house where the bank manager um, frequents, basically convinces him that he should be the one getting the promotion and he should be the one whose life is better, and so he's going to go also rob the bank. They meet each other at the same time. Obviously, chaos ensues, um, and there's 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 more as as these three men's lives coincide. Um, my only complaint is that the women were only in that first sequence, and then you kind of lost most of the women. They were you know, they were there peppered in, but the like really bad women disappear, and that that's unfortunate. I want like you know like Marie Windsor when she plays a. a from Fatal, she's there till the bitter end, and I, you know, that was the one aspect of this that I was like, no, give me this Femme Fatale and keep her. Um, otherwise, it's it's so skillfully shot. There's a sequence where you see the one guy in the bank, and it pulls backwards, and it's the other guy, and he's he's shutting the viewfinder of the door, and it's this one fluid, very um, almost cubic or cu cubicalian uh, shot. You'll see it in a handful of other uh, Japanese films where they do things like this. Um, there's one, I think it's in A Cold Is My Passport, that has a similar shot, and um, it's just one of those super fun uh, tropes that I enjoy. Uh, there is a, obviously there's several scenes on, on um, really confined trains. There is a, um, not a shootout, a... Um, a confrontation on a steep cliff. Always good. Um, obviously, the uh, jazz club type thing is the geisha house. Um, there's just all kinds of really great corollaries between CD post war America and CD post war Japan. Um, and as we've seen in many of these Japanese films, that's uh, there were there were corollaries uh, to both uh, countries the whole time, including during the Depression in the 30s. So this this one I would say fits firmly in neo noir, um, much like the neo noir cycle in in um, America, where like Sam Fuller was making films where he was aware of what other directors had done and he was he was upping the ante. And I think um, Kurahara coming in and making his first film in 1967. Kurosawa had already been making, you know, noirs in the 40s, and Ozu made a handful of, of proto-noirs in the 30s, and he had a lot to work on, on top of all the Western, um, American, and British, and French uh, noirs that I'm sure he, he devoured in post-war Japan, um, all leading to uh, this film that was clearly um, inspired by the, what had come before it, but building on it.
So this is Intimidation from 1960. It had a great bleak ending. Um, I recommend it. It's just, it's swift. There's not a wasted frame. The tension is taut through the whole thing. It's an hour and five minutes. You will not regret it. It's on Criterion Eclipse, but I think out of print. So the only way you can really, really watch it right now is on Criterion Channel on Filmstruck. So check it out. This is Koryoshi Kurahara's Intimidation from 1960.